Have you ever watched a movie and thought to yourself, I wish I could turn these scenes into 3D? No. That's right. You can now do it thanks to 3D Gaussian Splat. You can literally take a movie shot like this from 15 years ago and turn it into 3D. Then even bring it to a 3D software like Unreal Engine 5 and do whatever you want with it. Take any footage where the camera is moving so you have some depth, run it through the 3D Gaussian splatting algorithm, and just like that, you have the film in 3D. It's as simple as that. In this video, we are going to take scenes from The Shining, Inglorious Bastards, Harry Potter, The Dark Knight. Wait, isn't that too many? No, get out of here. Prince of Persia, and The Matrix. By the end of this video, we will also take some of them to Unreal Engine 5 and create an entire new scene. So let's go. We began by searching for movie scenes in which the camera moves at a moderate speed in an orbit. Orbit because we get some idea about the depth of the scene and moderate speed because, well, we don't want any motion blur. More specifically, we were looking for shots where there were no moving elements aside from the camera itself. We then cut those scenes out and converted them into image sequences. Now it's time to train and process. Now while Farhad is training the Gaussian splats, I want to tell you exactly what they are and how they work. And by the way, we've already done this five times, so let's speed run it. You start with a set of images taken from a subject, run it through an algorithm that creates point clouds based on that subject, then those point clouds are converted into Gaussians which have superpower capabilities like holding various sizes, color values, and transparency values, then those Gaussians are optimized over and over again until they're absolutely photoreal and efficient to view. Mic drop. Guys, guys, the 3D scans are ready. Let's go and check them out. The first one, the shining. But before we get into the 3D scene, let's take a look at the input images and the input video. So this is the video I clipped right after the credit. You right. can see, I think they did a helicopter at that time 20 years ago. Yeah. This is actually the perfect shot because the camera's going in sort of a quarter orbit around the hotel. And we have the perfect view of the mountain, of the hotel, you, you see the, the trees, cars, the cars. Yeah. Everything is super sharp. Even though the video was taken at a long time ago, I don't know where this movie was uh, made or when it was shot. When was it shot? Let's find out. Uh, 1980. 1980. I wasn't born. Wow. wow. That's 33 years ago. Wow. So this shot was taken 33 years ago. Here we are in 2023, turning it into images and turning it into a 3D scene so that we can go ahead and alter the footage. Ready? Three, <gasps> two, one. Oh, oh. You can never be sure of what it looks like from the first image because it might, it might fuck it up the moment. 33 years after. Let's look at it. No way, dude! We got the whole freaking shot! Dude, look at this. No. I go up, I come down. I go come in, here. go oh, right. Turn here. Dude, turn can down. you go closer to the hotel? Go closer to the hotel? Dude, this is crazy. Let me go. Wow! Dude, look at the mountains. Look at the trees. Everything looks perfect. Dude. <laughs> later. We are here. Dude, this is such a creepy hotel though. You can't go up because we never captured that. But we, we never... have a large area. So yeah, no, no, but you cannot go up. Yeah, you cannot yeah, use course. this because behind the hotel was a part Beautiful. that we've never seen. But what's amazing is, okay, so the shot, as you might remember, was taken like this, right? This was the shot. Yeah. But now, having access to this in 3D, we can go in. We can go out. Like we discussed this earlier. Okay, it even rotates the camera, yes. Wow. And what's crazy is, if you're shooting a film or a Netflix series or whatever in Hollywood for yourself on social media, you can go ahead and take that 3D scene after shooting your film and go ahead and change the idea for the camera angles that you might have had. Look at those splats. We're gonna take it to Unreal, baby. Imagine you do this now with intention. So now the Netflix series, Disney series, Hollywood movies, when they go and they wanna, okay, we wanna do a credit scene here or we wanna do a scene here. Before shooting anything, let me do a 360 so I have every single angle available. And mind you, we're not even using the original material, right? We downloaded this video from YouTube, which already has so you know how compression. Many times, how many times has been exported? One time for the film. The no, 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 many, many, many times. YouTuber many, many times. for that, me from the YouTuber, so it's it's already destroyed. But great result, I would say. Let's move on to the next shot. Shot number two, Inglorious Bastard. Are we gonna look at the images or the video? No, the video. Okay. So this scene is so crazy. These two guys barely move when the camera 
orbits. I think half an orbit happens here. So we see the movement is very subtle. But he he's shitting no, his pants, right? Yeah, right now. Because his family are hidden somewhere, like under under the floor or something, or in the wardrobe. And what was really important for us with this scene was the movement of the camera. It was slow, there was no motion blur. There was a subtle movement between the two characters, but we decided to try it anyways and see what it looks like. So let's go. Okay, a promising opening, but it's still no, Wait, no, you have to move it. I won't know until you freaking move it. Okay. And don't go too fast. Yeah, I'm moving, oh, I'm moving, whoa, I'm whoa, 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 whoa. Follow the same, no, no, follow the same camera movement for me. Okay, so, so we failed the, the face. We failed the face. Oh, but here. let me let me let me turn one round. Okay, stay look here, stay here, stay here. Yeah. Holy look shit. Look at the hat. Look at the hat here. Look at the hat here. Oh, this part is almost. Look at perfect. the hat. Look at the hat. Yo. Let me go, go behind there. him. Yeah. Bro, okay. look at the hat. I'm just looking at the hat. Look at him. Look at him here. Wow. Yeah, go up, go up, go up, go up. Yo, you know what this reminds me of? The credits or the introduction of a film where you have characters and you just have them stationary in 3D and then you go around them and then you have the names coming between them. We have to try that out. Dude, they move their face quite a bit. So Which is why from any angle you the look, their faces are different. Well, look at the items on the table. Dude, this is... I'm still very impressed with the technology. Come on. May I? This has just come out last month. Can I? Look at this part. Just look at this. This shot was never taken. I can go in. Whoa. Dude. Dude, look is... at his face. His beard. Look at him. Yes. If I was recording a movie, I would do my credits like We're not even, we're disregarding our own industry. If you're doing YouTube content, TikTok oh. content, any sort of social media where you're not putting this on a giant screen for millions of people to watch, but rather on a mobile device, I would go to our favorite movies. If you're talking about movies at some point, you can do this and have the movie in 3D and then play around with the scene. It looks so stunning. Wow. Imagine taking this to VR. And then sit down beside them. Yeah. Listen to the conversation. We gotta do it. But for now, let's move on to the next one. Let's go. Scene number three, Harry Potter. This is the image sequence that we gave to our algorithm to come up with a 3D scene. Look at that. So it's more of a spiraling motion, yes. right? I gotta fantastic. say, your input images here suck ass. Yeah. They, yeah. they really are noisy, they're grainy. I can see even in the shadows, you can see a lot of noise. Yeah. Even on the bottom right here with the bridge in between the castle, like that's almost invisible. This is a horrible input image. I'm wondering how this is gonna turn out. Three, two, one. What? what? Yo, what the hell? Dude, come here. Come to the Hogwarts. Oh, go to the right side. Go to the right side. I want to see if we got the castle. I want to go. I want to go to the right. Go to the right. Dude, we got the freaking castle. I mean, listen, there's a lot of artifacts, but I'm just wondering how the hell it still managed to get the castle because the video was like, oh my God, look at the bottom right. Look at the torch, the flames. Look at the castle. You know what it's done? It's sort of done an its own denoising yes. pass on the entire Dude, image. This is a huge space. This is, a, I think if you want to walk from one side of Hogwarts to the other side, it will take you 30 minutes. Wow. So this is a huge scene. Dude, this is and great. again, we are not using 4K images. We are using We're, YouTube videos. YouTube videos compressed and exported multiple times. Let me see how does the castle look like in splats. Oh, no, 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 keep it halfway, yeah, yeah keep it halfway. Halfway is the halfway. best, bit, actually. The splats look so good. This is like stylized Harry Potter animation. Look right? At Shot number four, the Dark Knight. I think this is the part that Bruce Wayne goes and kidnaps someone from Hong Kong. Yeah, and yeah. he's standing at the top of the building, right? Yes, now. so the, the drone or the helicopter goes three quarter of the orbit and he's standing here. So I think like- And there's minimal movement from him. He does turn his head. But the problem with this shot is that the camera zooms in a lot. So you can see at this point onwards, you barely see anything, just like one small portion of the building. But Makes let's sense. see how the results turned out. Ready? Yes. Ooh. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. What do we got? Oh, I see some artifacts in there. I see but some artifacts the in there. still there. Let's see, let's, let's see. Let's see if we go, can go one round. Let's see, uh -oh, let's this, see. This oh, we messed, messed up, up a little bit. This is messed up. It's like a crisscross. You know those crisscross fries? Yeah. Wow. Here is totally messed up. Oh, Bruce Wayne is here. 
Nah, this was a bad scan, I would say. I have an idea. Why don't we try to do the image sequences in a different way? We have another one, right? We have an... Oh, wait, wait, wait hold okay. on. This, this part is not that bad. So we got... This part looks great. Yeah, the certain angles are fine. You can see how I can see. I think it's messed up because of the, the, the look of the, the building. But this part yeah. looks phenomenal. Yeah, this part is great. No, it's more than just great. Yeah. Look at the quality on the left side. Yeah. Here, the building. And they're just look at the material on the building. Look at the fans, the yeah. air conditioning units. Look at the building at the back, all the way. Look at the depth. Yeah, this is perfect. This I think this great. is HSBC building, if I'm not I mistaken. think so too, yeah. 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 Wow. And, and look at him turning his head. Look at the look at the illusion of him turning his head. Zoom okay, in. now he's looking to the right. And now he's going to look to the left. Wow, this is... And then he's going to look to the right again. Wow. Because that's what he did in the shot. You can read the no smoking sign. Shot number five, Prince of Persia. Let's look at the input. AKA... Farah than Farah's from Bad Decisions. <laughs> princes, 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 princes of Persia. Princes. What what, what is, is the, the plural of prince? prince? Plural form of prince is princes, princes. with one s. Yeah. So princess is double princess. S. No, that's a princess. This is princes. Princess. All right. Princess so this is the input video, right? So I thought here we have a very good orbit, although a lot of motion blur, camera moves very fast. And there's two obstacles along the way. One yeah. pillar on the right side and another pillar on the left side. And look, just look at the motion blur yeah. in this shot. There's absolutely so no nothing. Very low expectation from this shot. But however, however, before we start, I just want to see. So in, in the very beginning, it sort of looks like a, an eased out, an eased in motion because in the beginning, it's sharp. And in the middle, it's fine. It's pretty sharp, right? You can see yeah. this dome. It's just towards the end, it gets faster, and so there's yeah. more motion blur. Yeah, but low, low expectations for this as well. Uh, first at the first looks good. glance. No, but usually at the first glance, they all look good. You can never tell. Let me just move in a little bit. Go to the left. No, oh, what? what? Oh, and you have the obstacle too? Of course. You can see it construct this building that looks like a temple perfectly. And he's right. You can see the perfect yeah. depth between the prince and the buildings. So, this is okay, freaking let me show you. crazy yeah. how good this looks. Farhad, yes. do you notice the problem here though? The motion blur. No, this, the, the artifacts artifact. on top of his head. It's, you see that? Dude, this is Assassin's Creed vibe, look. Actually, Prince of Persia and Assassin's Creed are very similar in terms of the vibe. One last one, which is The Matrix. I hope this one turns out well, because that's my favorite movie. So we have two shots from The Matrix, one of which of is the infamous this is in the opening of the first yes. one, right? Clearly, they were using some tricks in order to get this shot to look good at that time, right? So you can see there is a ghosting effect on top of Trinity. Look at her hand and her wrist on the left side. Every time we pause, there's literally two of them. The motion blur is extremely sharp. Yep. You know, it's not, it's not the faded out motion blur. There's literally two of her, just one with lower opacity. And that's gonna cause issues. So we don't know how this is gonna turn out. So this is one scene. And, and on top of that, Farah, she's moving as well. The only reason Matrix made the cut because we love the movie and we wanted to give it a try. Yeah. Else it would fail. Let's go. I'm gonna show the other shot. And this is the... Oh. Thing. But this is full of moving elements. Bullets flying. I don't even know why we're cold. trying this. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> we're just yeah, hoping the, it would yeah. turn out well. Trinity, help! <laughs> Hey, hey, come on. I, it's not even funny. I'm just holding my... <laughs> okay, as expected. Oh, no. I see something. Hello? Someone is coming inside. Hello, sorry, we're recording videos. <laughs> YouTube's more important. Did you ask Are we gonna get that? that? Yeah. <laughs> no. I'll, I'll, I'll entertain them while you're gone. Hello? The shot of Matrix not it's so good. Not it's full of, it's really it's well. not usable. Let's let's just say it's not usable. But you still can see your face. Yeah. Does that count? <laughs> no, it's not usable at all. Let's go. Even the perspective Neo's. of it doesn't work. Let's check Neo. That's unfortunate. That's the other one. Dude, if this didn't work out, there's no way Neo worked out. Yeah, probably. But let's see. There's everything was moving in that shot. Yeah. Here we are. With the oh wait, wait, wait. There's some hope. There is some hope. Well, Trinity, dude. Hope. <laughs> Trinity, hope. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no! Well, you, can you see the bullets flying? I can see. No, there's coming. there was one bullet, right? Bullets? No, a few. They, they oh shoot. yeah, one on the left, one on the right, right? So he's yeah, there. Yeah, he's there. He's definitely. But not this. Is, I mean, you can't use this. There's too many artifacts. But 
You can see his body. Yeah, Guys, I don't know. Does this count? Let us know in the comments. No, does it well, count? Doesn't count. You cannot use this. The previous ones, you could use it. No, definitely, oh, no. this doesn't count. I would say that the scene from The Shining was our best. Yes. Inglorious Bastard was quite decent. Harry Potter was quite decent. Yeah. The one that we didn't have any moving element, those were the best shots. Yes. But like things like Matrix that had motion blur and elements moving, definitely didn't work out. Yeah. So you're not gonna stop here, right? No. This well, is no, 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 no. Of course not. We're gonna take this to Unreal Engine 5. For this scene in the Inglorious Bastards, we want to use the same camera motion because there was a lot of artifacts from the other angles. And then we rendered this shot. Pretty nice. But we still got some work to do. Now what's really cool about these Gaussian splats is that we can kind of relight them. By just removing the directional light, we can go ahead and add a single point light. We're gonna make it a little warm and put it on top of the table. Now that looks kind of cool. Super cinematic. Now just to show you how flexible these scenes can become, let's go and add a chair to the far end of this table. <laughs> nice. Uh, actually, let's brand this bad boy. Farrell, do we have the Bad Decisions logo in 3D? No. We don't? No. All right, let's go and make one. Polyfjord, who is an amazing YouTuber, made this tutorial on how you can turn any logo to 3D using Inkscape and Blender. Let's use that and turn our logo to 3D and bring it to Unreal Engine 5. Then place it on the chair, and there you go. Yes, sir. Boom. For the Harry Potter scene, we are dealing with the most amount of artifacts. But remember, limitations and constraints spur creativity. Let's pretend that Hogwarts here is a level in a game and we are selecting it. I just need to have the camera quickly scroll and bring the castle in the center where I slow down for a moment and then I quickly scroll out from the other side. Then I just download the Harry Potter font and use that to create a 3D text that says Hogwarts. Just like that, we have a cool render. Mm, actually, that looks a little too realistic. Let's stylize it a little by bringing down the sprite size of the Niagara particles. That's more like it. For the shining scene, let's totally change the camera movement. We're gonna start from a close-up of the hotel and slide all the way back. We're also gonna find the original shining poster font and use that to type out the name in 3D. Add some fog and we got a render. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We just remake The Shining. <laughs> All right, now that we've taken movies, turned them into 3D, and brought them to Unreal Engine 5, Farad, what else can we do with this? How can we make our life harder? Mm, I'm thinking... Video games. Let's do that. Because you have more control in video games. You can rotate the camera yourself. So imagine taking any video game and turning it into 3D that you can use yourself. Probably illegal, okay. but you can but do it. <laughs> why not take that into VR too? Oh, you mean like take that environment, put the VR headset on and go, go to the video game? Yes, that's like doing this. Yo, we gotta do it right now. Okay, okay. before we go. Have you? Have you? Have you freaking have you? not subscribed? Oh yet? my god! Do it! Make the subscriptions come true!